Hello and welcome back to the Common Cult Podcast. A cult podcast is real takes and no clickbait. I'm Josh Hudgens and uh, I was scrolling through Twitter the other day and it was flooded with a lot of tweets regarding the passing of Hall of Fame running back Jim Brown. And as I'm going through there, obviously a lot, a lot of cool stuff I'm reading about him. And then I get to our beloved owner, Jim Ursay's Twitter page. And he puts out a tweet that sparked a little bit of outrage from some Colts fans. And I'm going to read up the tweet and I'll pop it up on the screen for you so you can see it. Uh, Ursay tweets this. On my list of top five greatest NFL players of all time in our 103-year history, uh, my top five is Jim Brown, Tom Brady, John Elway, Deacon Jones, and Reggie White. Let me just take a pause and say... I hate GOAT conversations. I hate ranking legends because it sparks so much controversy and nobody agrees on it. It's like politics. Uh, the, the truth is, it's, it's why big organizations like ESPN or all, all the big, big time news outlets love stuff like that because it sparks so much controversy and, and it gets clicks. Um, all that said, Ursay got an extreme amount of backlash from some Colts fans saying that he disrespected Peyton and, and he maybe hates Peyton Manning and a bunch of stuff, really because, not because Tom Brady's higher than Peyton. I think I think we can all agree that a lot of people, that's kind of the general consensus, but he put John Elway above Peyton Manning. Um, so Ursa got so much backlash for this that he tweeted again and he says, no doubt that Peyton Manning, Barry Sanders, Jerry Rice are all in the top 10. It's just that Elway didn't have great offensive players around him till the end when he won two in a row and his feet were remarkable from baseball talents. So as I read that and then I look through the comments and tweets and Facebook posts about this, a lot of fans are digging into this really deep saying that the relationship between Peyton Manning and Jim Mersey is not good. Even dating it back to when Peyton Manning left the Colts with Manning calling or with Ursay calling Manning a politician uh, and, and Manning doing a lot of stuff with the Denver Broncos, making videos and, and appearing in a lot of their stuff and really nothing with the Colts. And I think to an extent, as I read through this stuff, um, I, I think the truth is usually somewhere in the middle. I don't think that Ursay hates Peyton or Peyton Manning hurts I uh, hate Jim Ursay. I do believe it's, it's probably awkward a little bit. Um, obviously, when Peyton Manning was the year he got injured um, and was leaving the Indianapolis Colts, he had his first kids. And when he moves to Denver and he plays there for four or five years, these kids start, grow up and, and he gets a family now and he lives in Denver. So I think part of the reason why he does a lot of stuff with the Broncos is just because it's easy to do. Um, but I also think Peyton does have an appreciation for that organization for giving him a shot and trusting him. Um, Peyton Manning is such a professional just great guy when it comes to handling issues in the media. We, I don't think we would ever hear a bad thing about the Colts organization or Jim Irsay from the Peyton Manning camp. Um, I do think that fans were overreacting to Jim Irsay's list. I think he was doing his best to be objective and, and give his honest opinion. Is He's kind of a, a historical owner. He loves football. He's been around of a lot of great legends. Um, so, so at the end of the day, I think we need to take a step back a little bit and say, hey, look, is the relationship between Jim Irsay and Peyton Manning great? I don't know. We're not there. We're not We're not there to hear these conversations play out. But Peyton Manning's got a statue in Indianapolis. And we don't know what kind of calls they make behind the scenes, whether it's consulting stuff, uh, making decisions on quarterbacks, making decisions on roster. But we, we just don't know. So, so for us to sit back as fans and say, hey, Jim Irsay hates Peyton Manning. Jim Irsay disrespected Peyton Manning on purpose because of what Peyton does with the Broncos. I think I think we're stretching a little bit here, and I think it's the off season, and I think we all just need to relax, take our time, and say, hey, look, we appreciate you, Peyton Manning, and just look back at those Peyton Manning highlights and be thankful that we had him for so long. Um, before I do uh, sign off, I do want to say if you could take a moment to subscribe to our channel, it would mean so much to us. Comment what you think on this stuff. I, I tend to think a, a lot of stuff like this gets overblown, but I, I'm curious what you think. If you could comment below, it would mean so much to me. And until next time, I appreciate you watching the Common Cold Podcast.